What is going on guys? This is me Beyond Games 13 of course. Um today we're gonna do our um the next two villages, clan explanations and you know, suggested build. So I did the um leaf and rain, so but today we're gonna do rock and sound. And I apologize for not making a video. Um uh, I've been really busy with school, stuff like that. Getting close to the, um end of the year testing stuff like that so I've been studying pretty hard alright so first of all the, Kogu the Kaguya clan the Kaguya clan is a very rare clan that holds the ability of bone manipulation through Keka Ginkai making them a very powerful force to be reckoned with any range depending on fighter, fighter and Keka Ginkai is their ability so with Kaguyas you're probably going to be using your um bones a lot of course because you're a Kaguya so what I recommend is maybe using a um, Taijutsu Genjutsu type or if you're going to be using Ninjutsu Genjutsu then yeah actually you should use either Taijutsu um, either straight Taijutsu Taijutsu Ninjutsu or Taijutsu no not Taijutsu Ninjutsu but Taijutsu Genjutsu that's the best and Genjutsu and Ninjutsu alright so that's builds like 5, 30, 15, 10, 20, 10, stuff like that. Kumujin. The Kumujin clan first originated from mutants of a spider DNA. After some time, it became apparent that it was within the blood of each ninja passing on. This allowed them abilities such as shooting webs or hardening their skin or hardening their skin even. Any range and depending on fighter and Kenkai Genkai slash hidden technique. So for a Kumajin, it really does not matter what kind of build you put. It just depends on what kind of um, per ninja you want to be. If you want to be a Taijutsu person, of course, do like 20, 10, 5, 20, 10, 10, or something like that. If you want to be Ninjutsu, Genjutsu, of course, you already know all the 5, 30, 15 builds, 5, 25, 15, stuff like that. Uchiha, the Uchiha clan is one of the most famous clans holding a powerful Kenkai Genkai as scary as their chakra, the Sharingan. They are known by four fierce eyes they wield. Any range depending on fighter and Kekai Genkai. You already know that the Kekai Genkai is the Sharingan. And the build doesn't really matter, but most people use 525, 15, 530, 15 because, you know, most of Chihas in the anime are Ninjutsu, Genjutsu, especially Genjutsu. Because I'm, me personally, I'm 525, 15. Alright? So the Yatsuki clan was once a royal clan of the Cloud Village. They are born lightning users and are born sword users. Any range depending on the fighter. Passive clan. So this clan, you might want to have a, um, a build like um, 10, 20, 10 because they're, they're born a sword user. That Taijutsu or stamina will help them fight better. But if you want to use straight lightning and sword, maybe 53015 would be a good, um, would be your best bet. It just depends on what kind of fighter you want to be. So, Aljao Clan. The Aljao Clan are often referred to as the Reapers of the Hidden Town. Reverse, what the, revered for their powerful Zaljuzu that connects them to the forces of death and decay. Any range depending on fighter and can Ah, can <sighs> This clan, you pretty much going to want... Um, any it doesn't really matter to tell you the truth. As long as you have enough capacity and or control to control your um um passives, like your death and decay um passive, then you'll be good. You'll be straight. So pretty much just experience experience oh experiment with bills to see how you do. So first in the rock village is Iwazuka clan. Iwazuka clan within the village that was once known as the Bomb Squad. As time passed and generations went on, the squad was able to become a clan through sheer numbers. Their techniques would allow them to utilize small explosions made out of clay. Type battle type, long range and hidden technique. So, of course, everybody knows Daydara, the Iwazuki Daydara, the bomb guy, making out of clay. So, what I recommend, I mean, you can beat Taijutsu if you want to, but I would, I would do a build like 5, 30, 15 in order to control their um, clay because they're going to be using a lot of clay honestly or um, obviously so Kiro clan the Kiro clan is 
known for raising excessively amazing ninja. This clan teaches the ninja techniques based off the stars. Mid-range hidden technique slash so Kekai Genkai. Okay, the Kiro clan, I'm not even going to lie, this clan is amazing. But the downside is that you have to train your Shuriken Mastery to at max 15, I mean at minimum 15. So you can be able to control your um, stars. So this clan, you're going to need good control or capacity for your stars. So I re recommend 525, 20, 520, 25, 530, 15, stuff like that. Okay, the Sabaku clan. The Sabaku clan is a clan based off their long, long lost hero. They praise the former demon, the Sukaku, because of times past, they teach the hidden technique of each of their ninja, allowing them to control sand. Battle type mid ranged hidden technique. Hidden technique. Um, this this actually would go pretty good with the Taijutsu Ninjutsu. Uh, let's say maybe 2010 10. Um, 2010 that's 40. 25 10 15 stuff like that because they'll have um their sand which be able to um have good capacity of control in order to control that sand because that sand is actually pretty good. I'm not even gonna lie. The Kiru clan are rock, rock born ninja, gifted with the ability of dust release, which is obtained by combining the chakra natures of Katon, Futon, Doton. Mid range hidden technique slash Kikage Kai. So, you can, as you can already see, we have Katon, Futon, and Doton, so you're going to need a lot of capacity and control. So, I meant not and control, but or. So, I say either 5, 15, 30, or 5, 30, 15, 5, 25, 20. 52025 20, stuff like that because you're gonna need to be able to use that um, those elements and especially the death release the death release is actually pretty good I'm not gonna lie it's pretty strong once you master it the Kojiki lane originates from the hidden cloud known for their devotion of the god of death Jashin and their willingness to sacrifice others in his name battle type sadistic <laughs> mid, um, hidden technique so this claim is pretty much hard to explain I never actually never been in Kojiki, but what I do recommend is using uh, build a high control. Cause I fought with no Kojiki. These guys are crazy. I'm not even gonna lie. As soon as they get on that circle, you, that's a basically that's basically an automatic KO. I'm not even gonna lie. That's what I hate about that. All right, um, the Satil Clan, once known as the Hayden. The Hidden Clown Village. After Cloud lost the war, it gave itself up to the Rock Village. Any range depending on fighter, pass the plan. Uh, to tell you the truth, I honestly do not know. So two, it doesn't really give it that much of an um, explanation. So it says any range depending on fighter. So that pretty much means any build. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next video. And peace.